recorded live. Crazy Insane, episode number seven. Crazy Insane Radio, a Rich Vernon O production. <laughs> Victim survived attack by serial killer, Murgatroyd Times. The first known victim to survive an attack by the serial killer who is terrorizing Murgatroyd City is in a stable condition at Mercy Central Hospital this evening. Lieutenant Skitters, lead investigator of the case, had this to say to the Times. Shimiko Hiramoto. Out of Vincini Cosmetics at about 1 o'clock this morning as she left the building on her way to her car. I, along with other detectives, have interviewed her extensively this morning, and at this stage we are prepared to reveal only the following to the press. The assailant was wearing a mask and gloves. There was an older model Chevrolet parked awkwardly on the parking lot. We ask that anyone who may have witnessed the attack or the older model Chevy to come forward with whatever information you might have that might be helpful. If he could be made about apron head, like a Troy time. A late the action thriller based on the night of destruction here in Murgatroyd City, perpetrated by the demented figure known as Apronhead, is to begin filming within the next six months, Hollywood sources reveal today. Vincini stocks up five points. In an amazing last-minute rally, the closing stock of Vincini Cosmetics had risen to an all-time high of 34 and a half, up five points during a single business day, making it the biggest single gain the stock had experienced over a 20-year period. Paper Doll Factory to reopen soon. Fudiki Hiramoto, a Japanese business magnate, has announced that the rebuilding of the destroyed flashy Paper Doll Factory is now complete and that production will resume almost immediately. 500 former employees will regain their jobs and an additional 300 plus are to be hired. <laughs> Recorded live. Good evening. This is Hugh Millickson, CRZY News. Tonight, we're bringing you a special, special presentation on the Murgatroyd City serial killer. Who is the Murgatroyd City serial killer? Well, here's what we do know so far. There have been a total... 14 victims. The 14th, Shimiko Hiramoto, escaped. She is the only victim to escape. She was attacked on the Vincini parking lot recently. Of the other 13 victims, none of which you have survived, all were females ranging from 22 to 45 in age. All of the attacks occurred at night after 9 o'clock, but before 5 a.m. in the morning, with the latest attack occurring at 5 a.m. The earliest known confirmed attack by the Murgatroyd serial killer was in October 2012. Uh, That victim, an Asian female, was found behind the paper doll factory in an empty lot. The second victim in December 2012, was found in the back parking lot of the Murgatroyd Times. The third victim, third confirmed known victim of the Murgatroyd serial killer, was behind the downtown Super Deluxe grocery store. That victim uh, was discovered at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, detectives at that time indicated that the body was still warm, so apparently that attack had just occurred. From what scat evidence has surfaced and for camera camera work at some of the scenes, uh, some video surveillance camera details were captured in, in some instances of different locations. Uh, he appears to be a, a male, 
twenties to thirties again wearing a black ski mask and black gloves, dressed in dark clothing. And because of the darkness in the areas in which the attacks occur, and uh, few if any witnesses to any of the attacks, we don't know the race of the man. Uh, it cannot be determined whether he's white, black. Those things cannot be determined. Height seems to range between five foot eight and six foot four. Uh, this is Sarah's the city now for for four years and uh, claim 13 victims that are, are known known victims of the Murgatroyd city. Uh, a, a profile is, well, has been developed. Uh, that information uh, has appeared in the Murgatroyd Times newspaper from time to time. Uh, and part of this ongoing series, this is the first uh, in a series, uh, will be an attempt to to look more closely into what might be the causes or the, the motivating factors going on in this particular instance. Uh, in this most recent attack uh, that occurred on the uh, parking lot of the Dentini Cosmetics in which uh, Shimiko Hiramoto successfully escaped from the attacker, uh, there was an older model Chevrolet, a dark colored older model Chevrolet uh, seen uh, nearby there uh, at the at the time, awkwardly parked at the end of the Mentini parking lot. Uh, there was a press release uh, by Detective Lieutenant Skidder, so along, who's been handling the case now for quite some time along those lines. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our uh, CRZY special. This is the first in a series on uh, who is the Murgatroyd City Killer. And I want you to tune in as we develop further information, and there will be further information, uh, further episodes. Thank you very much. This is Hugh Miller for the CRZY News. Good night. Recorded live. Crazy Insane Radio, a Rich Fernando production. Good evening, uh, this is Hugh Millickson at CRZY News. We have here tonight Lieutenant Skidders, the lead investigating detective into the Murgatroyd serial killings. Thank you, Lieutenant Skidders, for being here tonight. I understand uh, you have an announcement concerning the case. Thanks, you. Glad to be here. Uh, yes, that's correct. I am here to announce a prime suspect in the Murgatroyd serial killings, and that prime suspect is the illustrious Count Pedestrian III. Yes, that's right. It may come as a shock to some, but he's been a person of interest since the fifth killing. And as you know, we're up to 15 victims now. And the great Count Pedestrian III flew out of the country earlier today before we got the arrest warrant issued. Interpol has been notified. And I have a message for you, Count Pedestrian III. You can run, but you can't hide forever. We will get you. You're not going to leave my city strewn with 15 victims and simply waltz off to hide out with your Euro trash friends. I will personally go to all four corners of the earth to apprehend you and bring you back to Murgatroyd. Thank you, Lieutenant Skinners. And this is Hugh Millitson of CRZY News. Good night.
Attention viewers! We interrupt normal programming for this international news bulletin. This is a formal announcement from Count Pedestrian III coming to you now from European television. Recorded live. In recent weeks, both my dignity and reputation have been insulted and assaulted by an overzealous idiot in the United States by the name of Lieutenant Skippers in Murgatroyd City. As a result of his outrageous accusations, I have left the United States and returned to my own country. I have no plans at this time to return to the United States as long as this madman with a badge is allowed to roam Megatroid City. Hugh Millinson here on CRZY News. That was uh, Count Pedestrian. Uh, earlier today, the question of a possible diplomatic immunity has been raised by sources at the State Department. Recorded live. Crazy Insane Radio, Episode 17, a Rich Bernardo production. Good evening, this is Hugh Millington at uh, CRZY News. And in the financial news today, the Vincini Cosmetics Corporation today acquired a Uncle Crud Bucket's lime thigh cream for an undisclosed amount. And, uh, the Vincini stock has gone up several points as a result, and we have here in our studio the owner and CEO of Vincini Cosmetics, none other than Judy Vincini herself. Hello, Judy. Hello. Well, tell us about this. Well, that just makes business, business sense. Vincini, uh, for Vincini to acquire Uncle Fred Bucket's basic lime eye cream, Vincini offers so many other kinds of cream and lotions that it's time to enter this ice cream market. Every man, woman, and child sooner or later in their lifetime will have to have a need for this ice cream. And the need is growing. We'll have a brilliant, our way we'll have our brilliant lab technicians at Vincini improve this as best as they can, possibly improving, possibly adding a tanning substance so that you can now be tanned in places you never could get tanned before. We um, uh, quickened the proof upon this established business. Uncle Crub Buckets has been around for 75 years, but this now it's time to go buy cream, take buy cream into the 21st century. Judy, Judy, thank you, Judy. We appreciate you. Bulletin alert! Bulletin alert! This is a CRZY news bulletin. I repeat this is an urgent news bulletin from CRZY News. I am the Murgatroyd City serial killer. You all think that I have killed 15 young girls, but the actual number is 17. Two of the bodies were so well hidden that they have yet to be discovered. But I am going to send Hugh Miller's son at CRZY News a few clues to their locations as well as a little souvenir to prove that I am serious. If he refuses to show it on the air, then I will claim another victim immediately after his news broadcast. Oh my, oh my, my, my. What on earth am I going to wear tonight? Dear diary, I may look dazzling and past helping but the girl in me tonight is screaming for a stunning blue dress. I cannot, no, make that will not, be seen in anything less than magnificent when I hit the clubs tonight. I simply must appear to be outstanding in every sense of the term. Yes, you've got it girl, go out there and knock oh them my, dead you oh precious my, thing. Oh my, oh no, no, no. I absolutely will not be caught dead in these tacky high heels. I could have found better shoes than these at the local J-Mart. Attention drag queen shoppers! Have I got a news flash for you girls? Shiny red high heels will take a girl where only fools dare to tread. 
and I'm kicking up my heels in the air tonight. Oh yes, I am. Bye bye, dear. Talk she. Recorded live. I'm the Megatroid City serial killer. You think I've killed 15 young girls, but the actual number is 17. Two of the bodies were so well hidden that they haven't have yet to be discovered. But I'm going to send Hugh Milton or C at CRZY News a little souvenir to prove that I am serious. If he refuses to show it on the air, then I will claim another victim immediately after his news broadcast. And that, ladies and gentlemen, as you heard last night, was uh, the voice of the person claiming to be uh, the Murgatroyd serial killer who issued an ultimatum to me last night, as you heard in that uh, recording. I cannot, in good conscience, good people of Murgatroyd, cooperate with this person claiming to be the killer. I cannot show on the air the souvenir which was sent to the station, nor will I describe what it was. That would be caving into the demands of this psycho, which at this point could very well be an orchestrated prank, the work of a quack, someone wanting attention. The instructions as to the two locations of the undiscovered victims has been turned over to Lieutenant Skitters, the lead detective in charge of the serial killer investigation. And the so-called souvenir has also been turned over to Lieutenant Skitters. As to the threat which the caller made to claim another victim, unless I cooperated with his demands, I can only say that it is my sincere hope and prayer that this is a hoax. Earlier today at the downtown office of the Murgatroyd Times, I caught up with Shimiko Haramoto, the recent victim who successfully escaped an attack by the Murgatroyd serial killer. She had this brief My statement name's Shimiko to say Shimiko Haramoto. I leave Vincini Cosmetic Factory, go to my car. Man dress dark color jump me. I fight him. He run. Man wear ski mask. Dark black clothes. Outfit he wear also very dark color. I lucky be alive. Now I scared she's go to car and she's by she's smart. She's the little miss fancy pants in your family. And she knows that if she slaps on a little of the new Slidette 2 perfume, the boys will slide right over next to her. Try the latest sensation from Vincenny Cosmetics, the unexpurgated essence of sheer femininity. Slidette 2. For the little Miss Fancy Those Pants quiet in your Sunday family. mornings at home, nothing is more soothing and comforting than a big, hot cup of slowly brewed Vincini Ultra Deluxe Triple Star Gourmet Coffee. Make some today, any day, every day. Ultra Deluxe Triple Star Gourmet Coffee. Only from Vincini. Sad day in Murgatroyd today. 
The 20th victim of the Murgatroyd serial killer has been found near the off-ramp of the Sawmill City exit near Flat Town. Identification of the female victim is being withheld pending notification of next of kin. Lt. Skitters remains in charge of the serial killer investigation. Further updates to follow. I repeat. The 20th victim of the Murgatroyd serial killer was found earlier today. Well, 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 Lieutenant Skitters, I don't think I have to tell you why I brought you into my office. You're in charge of this Murgatroyd serial killer investigation, and now he's claimed the 20th victim? What the hell is going on? Why the hell can't you capture this guy? Not only that, I've got this high-falutin Senator Devane breathing down my neck now, throwing his weight around, demanding that we go after this trashy the paper doll or whatever the hell she's called. I wish to hell I'd never heard that name. She's indirectly responsible for Apronhead burning down the paper doll factory and for that crazy clown hanging himself in broad daylight in the middle of Dead Center Park. I got a Senator demanding we go after a damn paper doll. Look, I don't care how you find her. I just want you to find her. I don't give a damn what you do to her. I don't give a rat's ass if you tear her into 20 million pieces and scatter her to the four winds. I don't care if you glue her to the damn wall. Hell, we can't put her in a jail cell. She'll slide right out from underneath the door. If you've got to get a glue gun and glue her to the wall, I don't care what you do with it, Lieutenant Skitters. I just want this trashy paper doll confiscated. I want her picked up. I want her to destroy it. I don't give a damn what you do with it. And I want you to find this murder serial killer. Do you understand me? Do you get my drift? All right, you're dismissed. CRZY special on the Murgatroyd serial killer. For four long years and now 20 victims, a serial killer has stalked Murgatroyd. The sites where the bodies were found have all been different, a bridge, an old industrial building, parking lots, off-ramps, a number of different remote locations. The only common elements are that the victims are all young females between 25 and 45. of the Murgatroyd Police Department is the lead detective in charge of the serial killer investigation. Lieutenant Skitters even at one point named Count Pedestrian III right. as a prime So suspect. far the only surviving victim to successfully escape the serial killer has been Shimiko Hiramoto, the daughter of Japanese business magnate Fudiki Hiramoto. Oh, Recorded live. Hi, this is Les Tomac, live from Dead Center Park, where the protesters today are protesting in favor of Flashy the Paper Doll. And I have seen a group of skateboarders rally together with signs, and I'm going to interview one of those skateboarders now. Hello, young man. Hello. My Hi. name is Josh. How are you? Good. Uh, well... I'm going to start out by letting you know that I love your show. I listen to it all the time, dude. All right. Well, um, I was doing an aerial 360 kick flip down the half pipe the other day, and I saw this beautiful paper girl walking down the street. And, I mean, she was just gorgeous. I was everything I ever wanted. And I went up to try to go talk to her, but she, she ignored me and stuff. Well, you know, I didn't know too much about it, but then I've been hearing about all these senators and people out there trying to, uh, you know, protest her, drag her down, whatever, you know, tell her that she doesn't deserve rights and everything, but she's, you know, she's just as human as the rest of us, you know, dude, like, seriously, man, I think it's ridiculous that they want to sit there and hate on her, you know, I skateboard for a living, it's not like I do anything special or anything like that, you know, I go and beg food for food and shit like that all the time, you know, I just, I don't understand why they're going to hate on such a beautiful girl, she's too beautiful, way too beautiful. Thank you. That was a, a skateboarder here in Dead Center Park. And this is Les Tomac, live on the scene. Well, good evening again, little ladies. 
Imogene Slokowski here at CRZY tonight, at long last, I am going to take on the jerk who has been terrorizing Murgatroyd for four years now. That lame, pitiful excuse of a man who has been labeled the Murgatroyd serial killer. Why does he prey upon innocent young women at random you might ask? I will tell you why. It is because this ineffectual loser is incapable of meeting and carrying on a normal relationship with a woman. He is probably impotent, completely incapable of satisfying a woman even if he tried, so he uses a knife instead of that other tool that most normal men use all too effectively. This pathetic pervert attacks women violently because he is incapable of making love to them. So here we are, 21 victims later because some deranged, maladjusted jerk cannot function normally. Honestly now, when is Lt. Skitters finally going to identify and apprehend this demented, pathetic creep? Honestly now, lock your windows and doors little lady. And keep them locked while this dreadful loser continues to stalk Murgatroyd City. This has been Imogene Slokowski. Thank you little ladies for listening tonight. Have a good evening now at Talk She Recorded Live. Well, so Imogene Fakowski, you shouldn't be satisfied just taking on the mayor and paper dolls. You have to go after me, you vile wench questioning my masculinity, not recognizing the magnificence of my work. There you are, all high and mighty, in your little ivory news tower, looking down on everyone else. And like the rest of these fools in Murgatroyd, I used to be one of your biggest fans until you started calling me names. Telling the world I'm a pathetic loser. Well, yes, I chose my first 21 victims at random, Imogene. But now you're going to be my first non-random victim. Yes, Imogene. I'm coming for you. And you will be the next victim of the Murgatroyd. Serial killer. <laughs> People of Murgatroyd. Imogene Slokowski here. It would seem that when I went on the air the other night and told the Murgatroyd serial killer what a worthless piece of human scum that he is, I must have hit a raw nerve. I have been receiving death threats over the phone, in emails, and even in the snail mail. Well listen Buster, I am not afraid of human garbage such as you and I do not intend to roll over and cower in fear. We women of Murgatroyd are tired of living in fear because of a twisted pervert like you, and now we are fighting back. I urge every woman in Murgatroyd to keep a knife or a gun or a can of mace and if this pathetic creep attacks you, let him have it. Make this sorry loser very very sorry that he chose to attack you. Make this impotent, worthless pathetic piece of human garbage sorry that he ever attacked a woman of Murgatroyd. Fight back, little ladies, fight back. If this creep attacks me, I intend to gouge the bastard's eyes out. You do the same if he attacks you, alert. little lady. Breaking news bulletin alert from CRZY News. A biotech lab here in Murgatroyd City located in the offices of Dr. Lawrence Gitrick have been surrounded by Murgatroyd police including a SWAT team. Lt. Skitters is in charge of the force which are attempting to enter the lab offices to apprehend Flashy the paper doll and the new wooden creature which was seen entering the laboratory earlier.
We repeat, a large force of Murgatroyd police are attempting to enter the biotech lab offices of Dr. Getrick to apprehend Flashy the paper doll and the wooden creature which attacked skateboarders in Dead Center Park recently. This is Hugh Miller's son at CRZY News and we will bring you more updates on this situation as they become... Detroit Police Detective Lt. Skitters has reported that the attempted arrest of Flashy the Paper Doll and an unknown wooden creature was unsuccessful. Dr. Getrick was discovered unconscious on the floor of his laboratory and the two creatures had somehow made an escape from the scene. Repeating, Flashy the Paper Doll and an unknown wooden creature remain at large and should be considered dangerous. Dr. Gittrick remains in stable condition after being transported to Mercy Hospital in Murgatroyd with a minor concussion. This has been a CRZ News Bulletin. We now return you to regular programming. 